How about a sustainable and self-sufficient city? That's what China is trying to do with its new smart city. The Zhang'an New Area will be a huge self-sufficient zone that can even generate its own power and water. Welcome back to Genesis. In today's video, we'll look at the $500 billion self-sufficient smart city by China. Before we proceed, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for regular updates. The creation of Xiong'an New Area was announced by Chinese President Xi Jinping in 2017. The city, which will rise 100 kilometers southwest of Beijing, aims to build a self-sufficient and sustainable city that will unify and modernize more than 60 villages in the surrounding area, as well as pilot innovation projects to explore new models of economic growth, focus on green development, build a world-class smart city, and protect the environment. With an estimated budget of $500 billion, the project will transform the rural cities into the next Chinese Silicon Valley. It's not simple to create a brand new city from the ground up with major ideas like creating a sustainable, self-sufficient, and ecological city. The ambitious proposal entails the construction of a brand new city from the ground up, linked to other significant cities by five high-speed rail lines. These futuristic metropolises are planned to be completely self-sufficient and powered by renewable energy sources. This includes smart highways, internet communication networks, and autonomous buses. Xiong'an New Area is a massive project in the north of Beijing that puts into practice China's goal of becoming a world leader in AI and high technology. The Xiong'an New Area includes a new science park that will mobilize around 500,000 scientists. It also has dozens of large companies setting up offices, as well as residential complexes and service and industrial buildings being built. By 2035, all of this will be necessary to house 25 million people across an area of nearly 2,000 square kilometers. It is of great significance for China's reform, opening up, and modernization drives, as well as for the realization of the Belt and Road Initiative. An eco-city idea was used to plan and build this Xiong'an new area in an effort to be environmentally sustainable. This eco-city intends to use local resources as much as possible during construction to minimize resource consumption in addition to issues like lowering greenhouse gas emissions, water and air pollution, waste management, and other environmental concerns. The green rooftops topped with solar panels, coupled with building plans that reflect the landscape and ecology on the ground, create stunning living architecture that is completely self-sufficient in its energy supply, food production, and waste disposal. In its 50,000 hectare area in Shenzhen that aims to achieve self-sufficiency, it also focuses on minimal CO2 emissions and sustainability. The homes also have a large south-facing terrace, which acts as a thermal regulator and will be used by the tenants to play and rest. The Xiong'an Architecture Design Public Competition with Chinese Characteristics under the principle of high-quality development was organized by the Chinese government. The competition's requirements called for buildings to be made of wood and regional materials, as well as self-sufficient in terms of energy, food, and component manufacturing. Among the more than 300 projects submitted, one of the winners was Spanish architect Vincent Gallard, who designed a four-block city center that would be controlled entirely by robots and autonomous cars. It's set to be the most technologically sophisticated city on Earth. The Xiong'an New Area will be a self-sufficient smart city with complete infrastructure, services, and facilities. Residents can live, work, and rest in their own living environment. The city will be equipped with robots, artificial intelligence, and Internet of Things IoT technology. It will also have an intelligent transportation system. 3D printing technology will be used to create objects at every step of the manufacturing process, and with an investment totaling $500 billion, it is being hailed as China's most ambitious project in modern times. In the future, 3D printers will be like electric mixers, toaster ovens, dishwashers, and rice cookers today everyday kitchen appliances. Instead of doing all the work by yourself, you could just design a 3D model and send it to a factory to print your product. It's not hard to imagine that in the future when everyone is going to live in self-sufficient smart cities and this kind of technology is developed well enough. The city will be built according to circular bioeconomy principles. This area is expected to become a place where circular industries and technologies based on biological resources will gather. The entire complex, which will be made of wood, will feature apartments, retirement residences, offices, a public pool, a store, a kindergarten, an administrative center, and a fire station. In addition, it will also provide housing for about 250,000 people. 
multiple government tiers are working together to build the Xiang'an new area, and multinational firms are also taking part. Through its urban construction enterprises in Xiang'an new area and elsewhere, Hitachi plans to take advantage of these prospects and contribute to raising the quality of life for people in China. On the other hand, the advancement of urbanization in China necessitates coordination between large cities and small and medium cities, involving both the creation of new cities, as is the case with Xiang'an New Area, and the upgrading of existing cities. This results in the creation of significant business opportunities. The Xiang'an New Area is a smart city based on advanced technology with unique development potential and new ideas that connect people and foster their quality of life. Xiang'an New Area is an example of this type of urban transformation, with a vision to become one of the best in the country and build a sustainable model city. Is this China's next step in innovation and tech? Let us know in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.